How can you make amazing travel vlogs like Johnny Harris and Nathaniel Drew? They're two of the world's best travel filmmakers. I just took their course Visual Storytelling that teaches you everything that they know about travel filmmaking. It's packed with gems. So as a teaser, I thought I'd share the five best lessons I took away from the course so that you can make amazing travel videos. One, know your why. Before you leave for your trip, really ask yourself, why are you making a travel video? Is it to document your trip, relive your memories, explore a question or theme you have in your life? If you are going to shoot a travel film, that's much different than traveling and you happen to be documenting. And I find that it's good to not get caught in between either of those. So just know your why before you travel so you can be way more intentional and way more present. Two, have an angle. It's the ocean versus the Dutch. That's the battle that's going on right now. It's been going on for hundreds of years. And you know who's winning? It'll save you a ton of time and energy if you know what kind of theme, question, or place you're trying to explore. Johnny likes to explore geopolitical issues, history, why things are a certain way. Nathaniel suggests just following your curiosity and for him, he usually likes to explore like an event in his life, like moving to a new place or just reflections on life. Three, keep it moving with forward motion. In between the beginning and the end, you'll wanna use a lot of forward motion, which is basically capturing the progression of different scenes. So A to B to C, to keep everything moving in a logical fashion. Johnny likes to think of it as stumps on a river. If you're hopping on a stump, you don't want to miss a stump or your reader gets caught away, distracted in the flow of the river. I like to think of it as capturing the in-between your set scenes. For example, if you're in Rome and you're gonna go to the Vatican, then the forward motion you could capture is walking out of your apartment, jumping on a scooter, scooting through Rome, walking to the museum. And I found these walking and talking shots to be a great way to capture forward motion. Four, shoot all the angles. Johnny talks about the different shots he likes, like the wide establishing shots, the medium shots, the close-up detail shots. There's other shots of like humans that he likes to get, of action shots, the forward motion, like the walking and talking. I found that knowing what shots you want is super helpful for being present in your travels because once you know you got your wide, medium, close-up shots, you can put your camera away and be present. If you're enjoying this and want to see more videos on creativity, definitely click subscribe. Five, shift from what to what. Johnny and Nathaniel talk about three levels of storytelling. Level one is linear, where you're talking about what happened. I landed in Rome, and then I went to grab Bonchi pizza, and then I went to the museum. Level two is where you're just trying to convey a message. We are on a pizza quest to find the best pizza here in Rome. You don't have to have everything be chronological. You can really show things about Rome, the pizza, the history, to really craft a story that's non-linear. And then level three is deeper meaning, where you're exploring something that has a deeper meaning to you. For example, Nathaniel wanted to explore the theme of nostalgia, so he went to Portugal, which is one of the most nostalgic places in the world. That trip basically became a metaphor for his internal journey of searching for nostalgia. Johnny likes to explore deeper issues, like geopolitical, historical issues. So when he went to the Netherlands, he was exploring how did the Dutch beat back the wind of the ocean? The more you can shift your story from what happened to why, it'll just infuse it with deeper meaning. Trust the process. This was one of my favorite pieces of advice from the course. Nathaniel talks about how creativity, traveling, these are very spontaneous things that where everything can change all the time. But the one thing that doesn't change is focus on your systems. Nathaniel usually doesn't know what he's doing before, during, or even after sometimes, but he always trusts his systems and it always works out in the end. And I found that to be a very beautiful metaphor for my own life and maybe yours, where sometimes we don't know where this trip is going, where this journey will end up, but it's so nice to just be able to trust the process and know that as long as we stay true to our systems, everything will work out in the end. These tips just scratch the surface of the course of them sharing their philosophy, thought process, showing you step by step how to make a travel video. I can't believe that there's such an awesome resource like this. If you are interested, definitely check it out in the description below. I also made a review of the course here. See you next time.